We're here in Indio after a tremendous fight. Nico the Rooster Macias improves his record to 17-0. and How's it going, Nico? Very good. I just got to um, say thank you to my opponent, Marvin Cabretta. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have trained so hard at home, and I wouldn't have came in here so ready. When you were on the show, we talked about possibly changing your conditioning so that you can better last for uh, the longer 8, 10, 12-round fights. Okay. Uh, what I, we saw tonight, I think was the stereotypical rooster. I think they told you in the ring after you had a round where you threw 196 punches over a thousand punches, uh, in the short fight that you had. Do you feel like you need to change your conditioning or is it something where you, you're still feeling good going into these longer fights? now? Yeah. I mean, I, it's still feeling good, but we could always improve. And then, and it does the, what the, the day I, think I don't have to improve and take a step back will be the day that I won't go in there throwing as much punches. So we just got to go back. And even though the training's hard, we got to do it again and do it a little bit harder so that I can do it for a 10 round fight straight. You mentioned you feel like you don't have the knockout power, that one punch knockout power. I would say that the style that you do have, uh, where it, it's really will-based, you're breaking down your opponent's will or rather enforcing your will on someone else. You did seem to have some additional pop on those shots tonight. Uh, and your dad mentioned that you guys are working on turning some things over and doing stuff like that. How did that work out for you? Um, honestly, we had a lot of practice on turning those punches. It was my first southpaw, which was a different... Okay different guy to um tag on but my left i remember remember it was there all day and then it just maybe a little bit of practice in there and the fight tonight practice i remember turning it and now i just need to um, turn it a little more put my legs in it i remember the body scooping up the body it was hard he'd see him coming and block him with his arms and stuff but eventually i remember um really trying to like hey What's up here? And then boom, sneak. I snuck a couple of them in there. And I mean, honestly, it was just practice in there. Good, real fight, but real practice and get ready for next time. You know, uh, you'd mentioned to me what your favorite question is from everybody, which is what next and uh, when are you going to fight Floyd Mayweather? So I'll spare you from that one and I'll just say congratulations on a terrific fight. Thank Thanks very much. for. Yeah. Thank you.